Hey there, Paper Geeks and Glitter Nerds, it's another Crazy Geek Crafter. The project I will share with you today is inspired by and focused on this piece of pattern paper, which I designed myself. Um, back in May, I got Procreate on my uh, tablet, and this was the first um, colored uh, pattern paper that I made. Um, and it's inspired on uh, an actually uh, quite a few papers in this um, summer theme. But it's one of the few I've printed for now. I will print more coming f the coming uh, weeks, months. It's just I need to buy a new, uh, new ink for my printer. That's costly. So to start with, I have this one. And um, I will embellish it with some lawn fawn uh, parts, some letters spelling out summer in Danish, summers with an O. It's not a mistake, it's quite on purpose. For now, the pattern papers are mostly just for me. Uh, they're fun to make. And um, when I get them printed out, they're also fun to create with because, you know, I created them. So why not? Um, but I have thought about going on Etsy with them, but I haven't quite decided yet. And there are some practical things to take uh, into consideration uh, with my uh, situation work-wise. Um, so. To start with, I'm making a mock-up of my design. I like to make these once in a while uh, when I have a loose idea of something. And I always use my Narwhal uh, ink for that. For some reason, it goes goes better with the uh, pencil lines than the, uh, the black ink. I only have two bigger lawn fun elements that fit with this theme. I did have some smaller ones I could have put in, but just felt it wasn't the vibe. So I'm looking for some mice I made, and here they are. Apparently I stored them somewhere different than I normally store my used or pre-made elements. But these mice are from a wedding card I did last year, and I have plenty of them, so why not use them? And I didn't really feel like coloring anyway, so this was a great solution to use some scraps. and. Uh, get some little character on the card. Now there'll be three of them and that means there are in total five elements above the, state, uh, the sentiment and that fits perfectly in my opinion. Instead of coloring, I will be paper piecing the two elements that are left, uh, the pitcher and the uh, ice cream. And that's what all the cardstock was that you saw bef uh, earlier. They're just scraps. I'd have no brands on them or anything. I just pick through and find the colors that I would like. I will not need all of the pitcher. For, for instance, this dark green is only for the slice of lemon on the inside. I'm just drawing in to remind myself which part I need. And the lighter green will be the liquid, and then this white one will be the pitcher. Uh, 
And after having done all of the pitcher stamping, I did go a bit rogue. Um, I decided to start stamping in colors instead. Um, for a more, well, I call it the Disney effect. When Disney draws something, the outline is always uh, a slightly darker color than the fill color. That's putting it a bit simply, but that is basically what to do if you ever look at a, uh, a drawing of a Disney princess or something like that. So I stamped these two out in brown, but I'm going to regret the brown on the darker brown because it's just not brown enough. That one needs black. And this is the only pink I own, so that's the one I'm going to use. Really have to up my ink collection, but that takes money. That means I need to get a job. It's not that I don't want one. It's just that I don't have one. Uh, so I'm go gonna go in and restamp all of these in colors, respectively uh, blue, dark green, lighter green. And I actually only have one green in, in Lawn Fawn, so uh, I take a memento, uh, mark <laughs> a memento article, Drew Drops, I think, the smaller ones. Um, I have a few colors in that, and I take this darker one, there was still some... Um, water on my stamp from cleaning it, so it got a bit splotchy, but like I said, I only need the lemon part, uh, for uh, the lime part from this. I'm gonna cut everything out, mostly with scissors, but there's going to be at least one instance where I'm gonna need a knife, because it's so very tiny. So now that we've got all that stamped out, spoiler alert, I'm going to cut the ice cream wrong, so I'm going to have to stamp several of those parts again. In part because, like I said, the the brown stamping on the very brown cardstock, it's impossible to see. So I'm going to have to go back and stamp it in black. I'm keeping track of the tiny pieces with a piece of cardstock here. I was wondering if I should cut out the inside of the lemon, but I decided against it. Then I decided to color it white. It is wrong. It's supposed to be white uh, outside, actually, not in the holes, but uh, around the holes. But it was just too much work, and uh, I figured I could take some artistic liberty right here. And I'm cutting out the ice cube. Since it's in kind of the middle of the picture, it doesn't matter much that um, I cut it out. Uh, you won't be able to see it, and I'm going to cover it up with the green liquid anyway. So I figured I could get away with it.
To make sure that my pieces stand out on the busy background, I have picked a piece of vellum here. I'm going to draw a circle, but I'm going to tear it so it's more organic. Um, and then use that to glue the items onto and glue that directly to the card base. It will only diffuse a little bit since I'm gluing it directly to uh, the card panel. Um, if I put it on foam tape, the distance would make it harder to see the uh, pattern underneath and I didn't really want that. I just wanted a tiny bit of uh, diffusion and, and a place to, to keep my elements. I had been contemplating for some time whether I should have matted the uh, the pattern paper on something dark. Actually, I've, I want actually wanted a dark outline, but here I'm going <laughs> to draw a, uh, a stitch line around the panel just to try and frame it a bit. And I am never satisfied when I do these by hand. That's why I very rarely do it. But I really did feel like it needed something to frame it, something dark. And I didn't want to draw an actual line. Uh, I could have done that with the ruler, of course, but yeah, I decided on this approach instead. But a, uh, a chocolate dark background would have been good here, I think. Maybe next time. This was not hard and I can always print more because it's my design. But this was this week's card. I hope you enjoyed it and um, maybe got inspired. And uh, maybe you will even uh, subscribe and come back next week for another one. I am planning a live on Wednesday at uh, 9 or 21, as we say it here, uh, local time. That's uh, Greenwich Mean Time plus 2. You're in the summer period. It's plus 2. Um, otherwise, I'll be back with a card video on Saturday, as usual. I hope you enjoyed this project and we'll be back next week. Until then, I hope you'll be having a good day, evening or night.